go ahead. This is our ZH single stage Venturi. Some companies call them ejectors, others call them generators, some call them vacuum pumps. We put positive pressure in this port, we get vacuum out of here, and you will hear the air blowing out, which is through a silencer built into this unit. We have a two port, normally closed valve, it's a manual valve, we have a pressure regulator. Venturi's do not require much more than 60 PSI. Please refer to each Venturi uh, chart for the specifics. When I turn pressure on, we're going to be creating vacuum in this tube, reading vacuum pressure. We have a two-port solenoid valve behind the panel. It's allowing flow through one of these two flow meters. And then it's coming out this blue tube to this vacuum cup. This vacuum cup is a blue FDA silicone material as a bellows. I'm going to disconnect. I'm going to connect to a silicone material. 10 millimeter cup. This is a 9.7 millimeter diameter pen. That's just one example of using a bellows cup, approximately the same diameter as your material workpiece, non-porous, that you're picking up. So we'll take that off. Now we will connect to an eight millimeter. We're going to a larger nozzle. This is a 1.3 millimeter nozzle vacuum generator coming through eight millimeter tubing and a urethane 63 millimeter flat cup with uh, ridges, specially designed for cardboard. So what I've demonstrated here is we have a single stage Venturi that's controlled by a two port manual valve, a pressure regulator, we're coming through this manifold block, which reads out vacuum pressure. Behind the panel, there are two solenoid valves, normally closed. They are controlling flow through one or the other of these flow meters. When you're dealing with a very small workpiece, it would be beneficial to consider measuring flow for your alarm point versus pressure, because the difference can sometimes be very small when you're dealing with a part in the neighborhood of uh, two to four, maybe six millimeters uh, in terms of your vacuum cup.